In this video, I'll show you four free video editing applications for PC or Windows that you can use to add SRT subtitles to your videos. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Number one on the list is Kden Live. It is free, it is open source, available for Mac, Windows and Linux. Uh, and yeah, so let's add our video clip. And then uh, I've already made the subtitles for this. Uh, so it's just looking for the video, it's right here. And then we can switch. We can also uh, put it now on the timeline. So our video is already on timeline. Let's import our SRT file. Uh, but as, as we know with Kden Live, you can add the VSK models and uh, use VSK models to automatically transcribe and subtitle your video. I do have a video on that if you'd like to do it automatically and you don't have an SRT file, check out the link above. So uh, we go to project and then subtitles, import subtitle file, uh, click on this navigate, navigate to the folder that you want uh, to download the subtitles from and then uh, select the subtitle that you want. I'll click on this click on open and you can import a timeline cursor position but because this is already timed I'll just let it be as it is so click OK and your subtitles will be uh, imported if I play this with the reason uh, just a moment if I play this with the recent update you'll see the subtitle appear here right here but what we can do is we can click on this you'll start seeing them also somewhere right here now, what we can do is we can click on the subtitle formatting uh, to change the styles. So we can say we want an opaque background for the subtitles and you get a dark one. So your subtitles all through and through will now have a background and so on and so forth. So once you add that, you can always go to your project, render this particular video or control and return or enter to ban uh, the subtitles to the video. Really, really handy. Highly welcome. That is video editing application number one, Kden Live. Number two is VSDC, uh, and this is a free video editor, but there's also a paid version. Uh, this, is a, this is what we call freemium, uh, but it also supports import of SRT uh, subtitle files. So uh, to begin, let's import a video, add an object. Let's go to uh, video, and then let's go to a video again. Uh, what do we want? We want to import it from cursor position and add a new layer, that's okay click OK. Our video is going to be available for us to work with on the timeline. Next up, we need to add another object again and then go to subtitles or you can click on the CC button here. Click on that to add subtitles and then scroll down, get the subtitle that you want. Click on open. Uh, you get the same option from cursor position. I'll still do the same because the subtitle is already timed and insert a layer there. OK. There we go. Now, you may think that nothing has happened, but for the subtitles to appear, you need to draw a box. You can see what my cursor looks like right now here. But when I go to this particular interface, you'll see that it becomes a plus. So I'll draw a box right there so that we can see our subtitles. And if I actually play this video, with the reason, you can now see the subtitles right here. But what we might need to do is from the properties window right here, uh, we might need to make some few options. Uh, like you can edit the subtitles in the text editor, you can add markers. Uh, what we might need to do, we might need to add a background. Yes. So that we can be able to preview our subtitles really, really well. Uh, what they look like, etc. And then you can see all the different options. Uh, I kind of find it rudimentary that you have to draw boxes uh, once you do that, but it is what it is. Uh, and you cannot make uh, a couple of or ton of changes to this, uh, I wish it is possible, uh, but you can import SRT inside VSDC, uh, the, the video editor, the free version. Uh, now, that is video editor number two. Let's go to video editor number three, and this is DaVinci Resolve as always. Uh, so DaVinci Resolve is the more advanced of uh, the uh, video editing applications that we're going to be talking about today. And this allows you to do styling, import multiple subtitles, etc. So let's create a new timeline, uh, create, and then let's go to this edit interface and then we can add our subtitle uh, right there. So uh, we may need to time it a little bit. Uh, so I already know based on the waveform uh, from this particular section here, 
but it might be beginning somewhere there so I'll let go there and if I actually play this with the recent up so uh, we can see uh, everything as it is uh, everything is available so what we can do now is let's just actually just zoom in so what we can do if you actually just double click on any subtitle uh, this menu comes up for the caption the track CDC uh, you can change the different options available here uh, we can actually go to let's say the background let's give it that particular background uh, let's say we want the text to be like that I do believe this should apply to everything yes it does uh, but you can also do individual subtitles uh, where you can change the styles for just a couple of uh, different subtitles uh, without interfering with a lot of things so uh, once you're done obviously you need to ban this particular subtitle or render the video uh, so that you can export it with the band in subtitles but that's DaVinci Resolve is a little bit heavy on the system because it requires a minimum of 16 gigabytes uh, of RAM uh, as for Caden Live and VSDC, I believe, even with four gigabytes of RAM, you're good to go. Uh, and then finally, we'll look at CapCut. CapCut also allows you to import SRT subtitles. And we're going to import our video. There we go. And then we can add it to the timeline right there. Let's go to text. And then we go to local captions, import SRT. Let's just look for the one that we want to use, this one here click open and then add it so caption lyrics are displayed in the default timestamp so if I actually play this with the reason uh, let's zoom in slightly here and we can make some few adjustments here we can see something going on here uh, so we might need to change the color so that we can see so that's a black uh, spacing position blended background let's see if we get a background for that color let's see uh, actually let's go with the black and then we change the text back to white so yeah that looks a little bit better uh, and you can now see uh, the that only downside is that uh, the background seems to want to cut into the subtitle I'm not sure if there's any way we can change that so yeah actually yes we can change the height slightly yes that looks good and the width uh, let us see if it fits yeah it looks like it fits in a ton of uh, the subtitles that we're working with um, and you can see the different options the y offset x offset ADC so uh, that's CapCut looks really really good uh, we can actually use it and uh, you can see you can make a change and then let's say undo that let's say we want to change the height for that one uh, so it only affects this particular one Never because you've not made the change video to all of them uh, looks and works really really good so this is highly welcome uh, but simply put those are the four Caden Live, VSDC Video Editor, DaVinci Resolve and CapCut three video editing applications that you can use to add SRT subtitles to your video and ban the subtitles as open captions. So if you're using any of those as free video editing applications, you can use them. Uh, just a quick mention, you can use the auto captions feature in CapCut and also in Caden Live, you also have the option to use the speech recognition function uh, using the VSK models to automatically transcribe and subtitle your videos uh, into text. So. That's it for this video. I hope it's valuable to you. Thanks for watching.